everybody, welcome to another episode of my Doki Doki Literature Club walkthrough. <clears throat> Sorry I don't have face cam this time. I'm tired, it's like 10.35am. I woke up not too long ago, so... And yeah, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I forgot because I was like too focused in my game. <laughs> Totally my fault, but we're gonna continue where we left off, so let's go. Ugh. Man, I have like one month month membership for someone. Alright. So, it was kind of a tie. There was one person that said help me, help Sayori. I think someone said Yuri. Or did they? I think it's a, they said Natsuki. I think it was mostly Natsuki, so we're gonna go with Natsuki. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Um, Yuri. You're really talented. Eh, well, 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 but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack, rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job of that. Yeah. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Natsuki is so full of herself now. <laughs> Show us how much you know. But that's not Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki, Natsuki's voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can be definitely, it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Siori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. Aww. With a face like that, I can't help but feel f bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Oof. Well, <laughs> if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Alex. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I, the thing about, uh, Nazi key glances around the room. <laughs> Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Nazi key has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <laughs> anyway, the thing about your things... I don't know. I didn't mean it, okay? I don't feel... I just openly said it last episode. I was all like... And when I look back on it, I was all like, oh, god dang it. I don't... I wasn't even thinking about it, but y'all know what that says. <clears throat> well, that's all. Not saying he looks away, avoiding in contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Siori? I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Siori. I pat Siori on the shoulder. <laughs> well, now that we're past that, everyone's read each, o each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Alex. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. Especially me. What? Why me? Ahaha, uh, am I like the spotlight or something? And so my jo uh, so joining my club, the 
Oh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere? No, not at all. Not at all. If anything, I'd just make it even more lazy. <laughs> There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we can do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you could take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh, about what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Uh-huh, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Siori. <laughs> <clears throat> In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the liter literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Eh. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Alex, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It's a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Oh wow, I get determination so easily. Alex! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Let's go, Siori, to home, and I can't wait to lay back on my bed, which is what I do all the time in real life. Siori beams at me. It is truly has been a while since Siori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. No. Siori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't- you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Of course I don't hate them. I love them. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. You. you know, Alex, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you too. That's me. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Siori. It looks like the Siori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siori. Actually, yes, it does need to stop there. <laughs> I pat Siori on the shoulder. I said that more I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Siori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Alright. Um Headphones. Uh, I want to go with portrait. Uh, Starsky. Ooh, I like Starsky. Anime. I want to go with anime. Uh, vanilla. Hmm. Vanilla. Oh. Hair. Alright. Childhood. Agonizing. Fireworks. Sparkle. And England. Milk, <clears throat> candy, Rambo, uh, last nightgown, giggle, desire, 
Valentine, Kitty, Disoriented, Rowan, Rowan, Inferno, Vacation, Hope. I don't even know what this is for. Kawaii, Anger, Pure. Let's go with Pure. Unrestrained. <clears throat> Skipping, blanket, Ooh, blanket, philosophy, hopeless, vibrant, <laughs> loud, whisper, <laughs> incapable, after image, meager, um, <clears throat> I was just picking one random words. Another bit, day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi Alex! Yo, Siori. What's up? Love your bow tie. Okay. Looks like you're in good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Yori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Siori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it contents spill. I accidentally pressed the end button. <laughs> Oops, anyways. Only two coins small fall out in her purse. Oh my god. And I accidentally clicked to the next text, so... Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Trying to make me pay for your lunch? That's right. I can see right through you, Siori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. You had enough money in the if you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk. Or, you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Yeah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> ah, you're easy. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I did not notice that she was listening and her face is in her book as always. <laughs> uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Mm -hmm, sure it was, Yuri. Yuri? Tell Alex to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Yuri. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Oh, we got a smart person here. Yes, I agree with her. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt, little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. Retri retribution. Okay. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh, sure you did, your Yuri. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're... You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Siori... I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? 
There's there's words behind those. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. She already knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told me you guys she was bringing the club before I even she even told me. But 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 you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Siori. Hmm. <laughs> eh. Wop. Yeah. I don't know, these sound effects, I can't do them. I'm tired. Out of nowhere, something smacks Siori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... What was that? Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie, cookie wrapped in plastic. Siori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. Natsuki gave her the cookie. I was just gonna give it to you. Yeah, Natsuki's so nice. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your action, though. <laughs> Not Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I am so happy. Siri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it already. Siri rapidly tears o tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Siri suddenly clasps her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Ouch, that sucks. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours look really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why'd you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Hee <laughs> hee. Siori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. <laughs> ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Siori off of her. <laughs> Siori, Siori suddenly is down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> saw that coming. I saw that coming, guys! Hey, hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mm-hmm. Mouthful, Siori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Alright, let's save this in an empty slot. Uh, return. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of my Doki Doki Literature Club walkthrough. If you did, please leave a like. We'll be aiming for five likes. And also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Sorry if it's not much with much enthusiasm. Again, I'm tired. So, goodbye. I'll see you all in another video.